Hello again, Sandy Moss with you with some new things that I've dragged out of the closet. Uh, I have here something that's a little bit unusual. It's a saw, a hand saw for, for sawing. Actually, this is for sawing metal. Uh, and it's, as you can see, it's got sort of a fancy brass handle, or brass frame rather, back. And a blade, fairly short blade, which is deep, and the teeth need sharpening, but it's typically a, a cross-cut kind of filing of the teeth. And it has a, a fairly deep uh, thumb screw with deep horns here, or long horns. And then the handle has a brass ferrule. And if you look closely, you can see it has all kinds of embossing on the brass in a, a fairly complex way. It looks like sort of floral, maybe some sort of a fish. All sorts of little images there. And then the handle is made of bone. And this kind of looks like whale bone to me, but it's hard to tell bone apart. But bone is characterized from ivory and having these little black streaks and, and dots in it. This is because when uh, the tissue bone is supplied by blood, just like our muscles and skin, uh, but bone, true bone, has blood vessels which go through the bone. And so what these little streaks and black dots are, are uh, where the capillaries, or actually these are larger than capillaries, venules or arterioles uh, have been exposed in the bone and they've been filled with dirt, so they make these little black lines. Ivory, which is people confuse with bone often, ivory doesn't have any blood vessels in it, so it doesn't have these black dots at all. So we know this is bone. The kind of bone you really can't tell without a DNA analysis, but it, it sort of looks whale bone to me based on the, the amount of blood vessels and their distribution, but we don't, just don't know. And then it's capped with another little fancy brass um, piece here. Now, the interest of this is it's old. This is not uh, a, a new thing at all. Probably dates from the early 1800s, or maybe back into the, the 18th century, back into the 1700s. And the ornateness of it suggests that it's made in France, although it has no, it has no marking on it that you can identify it by name. But I think it's French. French the French people will usually made fairly fancy tools. Uh, but it's clearly the kind of saw that was used to saw metal. And it has this sort of high back, so it can it can saw through a, a decent piece of metal or a length of metal, uh, and it's kind of a hacksaw, a deep hacksaw. But this is the style of of uh, saw that was used in in France and in Germany uh, and in England, I suppose, in the uh, 17th and 18th century for sawing the metal to be made into armor you know, body armor. So this is an armorer saw uh, that was used to uh, create armor, not as old as the medieval times, but certainly they were still making, you know, chest plates and various kinds of armor into the, into the uh, 17th and 18th century. So it's an unusual saw. It's in really nice condition. It's a fancy saw, but it's the kind of saw you don't see every day. So I thought that, that, that was worthy of uh, bringing to you because you're not likely to see these around outside of a museum.